I'll try it with a Ron D V. So I know I showed you guys like a true color video the other day, but I mean it's just let's just be honest about how fine those lines are. I mean there you go. Through there. The complexion is not great. Look at all those bubble pop marks. But you know, with a flood coat, whatever. Rest webbing. Is that gonna be a trend? Is it gonna be a thing? It can be. That right there straight up looks like filigree to me. It's tiger filigree. Okay. In theory, it should be better. Oh. Okay, is it still better? Okay. Cool. So, I don't know if you guys heard me, but this wrecked uh, web looks like filigree to me just these little bits like this one looks like filigree tigery filigree and I don't know if you guys heard me before but it is whoop, absolutely absurd how thin those lines got and stayed I am really interested in doing this on like a labradorite or a countertop, but that will be for another day. I'm going to try that down with Ron Deasy at RK3. Till then, we'll just be doing experiments, scaling up, making sure we can recreate the accident because it's not really a technique till you can recreate it, right? I think so. So I went ahead and mixed up the same resin we used the other day, Stone Coat Art Coat. It's amazing. Looks like this. And let's pour some out. Into a cup. Actually, I'm going to do two of them just in case. Hey, guys. Hello. Hi. How are you? I hope you guys are having an amazing 2022 thus far. Did you pick a New Year's resolution? Can you tell what your New Year's resolution was? Or is it like birthday wish? And if you tell someone, then it won't come true. I don't know. Let me know. Hello, Jessica. Fantastic. All right. So in order to try to recreate the same outcome, I'm going to use many of the same initial ingredients. Betty, you got snow? I'm jealous. Um, I'm going to use the prism pour in the same shade, black iris. I'm not really concerned about setting it off, so I'm kind of still loading it up. Uh, essentially, I'm trying to set it off, so it's all good in the hood. And we did notice the other day, because the 
Oh, it's still translucent. I didn't add enough yet. I got a comment saying that if I added alcohol, it might thin it out. It did not thin it out. It actually made it a little bit gummier. So maybe I'll split this ooh, test into two and we'll just see which makes it more gummy or more stretchy. Yep, starting to happen again. See that lump just fall off? Ugh, didn't that sound horrible? It's so thick, it's breaking my little mixy or uppers. Okay. Doing more art. That is an awesome New Year's resolution. Well, e-science is what is on the menu today, TG. Marshmallow fluff. All right, that's about the consistency we had the other day when it was recommended to add some something, some alcohol. So I'm going to add a little splishy splash of 91% isopropyl into that one. Oh. not helping yet if it is at all I also want to add in a little bit of a black acrylic paint hello Sherry Sylvia to make it um, a black color Hopefully I can deepen the shade without changing whatever made it work to begin with. But I don't think it is. I think it's still going to be amazingly goopy. And we need some in there as well. So I started with ooh, some Prism Pour by Color Art. And I'm adding in some Deep Sea from Mixed Media Girl. Both are acrylic paints. Both I don't recommend putting in resin. Unless you're trying to get a thicker consistency like this. This is not pour with a bowl, right? But from what I'm trying to use it for, it may be just the perfect thing. I think Ooh, it's already starting to do it. I have recreated the accident, which means that now I can start testing if I can do that with other acrylic based paints or if I need to stick to the brands that I'm using right now. And once that test is done, I can go on to do bigger pieces. It looks like straight up slime. I've essentially, I think, made slime. So those that are in the slime videos, sup. I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to mix some something, some Milky Way or Shooting Star into my clear resin. I know I've made too much clear for this piece, but I want to clear coat some of the acrylic pores we did the other day anyways. Hey guys, thank you for coming in and seeing what I'm up to. What I'm up to is basically being innovative. Um, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Erica. And uh, I'm with Artists Till Death. Jeff and I go live every day, usually. Usually at 6 p.m. Central, except for on Tuesdays, usually at 2 p.m. Central. And we have our co-star, 
He is napping on his director's chair. I will give him a close up in a little bit. Look how beautifully sparkly and subtle this Milky Way is. I love it. I guess it would help if I put a flash on. Uh, are you adding heat today? I plan on adding heat. Okay. So let me make sure I don't have any black paint on my fingers. Cool. So yeah, uh, if you're new here, hi, please subscribe so that you can um, help my channel grow and so you can be of the first people to see my e science -y innovations. as it were, uh, make sure you hit the bell so that you get notified sometimes when, um, where are we? YouTube likes to sometimes not give notifications. Look at there, could be a finish all on its own. I would make that a countertop, would you? <sighs> About to be the moment of truth, and I am nervous. Okay. I'm kind of just popping the bubbles now. I don't want to add too much heat because that's going to thin out my resin. And then everything will move. So we don't want to add too much heat. We want this to be as put in place as possible. It looks like black tar or and or slime, just straight up. Okay, moment of truth. I'm so nervous. Why am I nervous? I think it's. I think it's gonna work. Okay, so let's get some out. I'm just going to wrap it around my hands a little bit. Listen, this is a little bit fun, okay? I'm not going to lie. This is so fun to me for no reason. Do you guys remember when you were little, you could get, like, this stuff at, like, magic shops or at the book fairs, and it was, like, magic smoke, and you would rub it in between your fingers, and you would go like that, and it would, like, puff smoke? Maybe that's before your time, but I remember that. Okay, here we go. Uh, I think it's going to work. I'm trying to, okay. I need to lift it. This is not easy to wipe off. Wiping tar off your hands is not easy. Check. Okay, I need to lift it so that I can wrap my hands fully around the piece, yeah? Okay, now, let's get gooey again. Let's get sticky! It's woodcraft. Could very well be. I'm just manipulating it into my fingers till it stretches in a way that I think would look awesome. And then I'm wrapping it all the way down and around the piece so that it doesn't come back up. Because if I don't make it attached to the piece, it'll come back up kind of like this one has a curl in it and this one because I moved my hands before it really stuck to the side. So I'm gonna turn it a little bit. You guys, I think we have come up with like a straight up game changer and it wouldn't have been possible without y'all. It's oddly satisfying to watch. It's oddly satisfying to do. Like,
Is this what like the the uh, slime craze is about? Just awesome, fun stretching of slime. I, you don't even need that much. I got to remember to turn it so that it's not all the same. Every time. So my plan with this piece is to do a whole bunch of this. And then probably do the power wash to it so that there's some like peekaboo of the awesome. What do you guys think? Could you do one of those nail art pictures this way? Sue, so which nail art picture? You're so patient with it. I feel like you kind of have to be a little bit patient with it so that you can stretch it the way that you want it to be. But honestly, you don't really have to hurry because I'm working with a very extended working time resin and it's not even hot yet. I just can't even with those thin lines. Like my next project is going to definitely be a labradorite because my whole problem last time I did it was I couldn't get the lines to look how I wanted to. Joe, it cures up relatively nice. It it will need a flood coat because um because it's so thick, the air bubbles can't really pop on their own. You could heat it, but then you risk your lines moving because you're thinning out your resin. So I think the best way to rectify that is to just do a flood coat. String art. I will check that out, Sue. You guys think I should go full crazy with the lines or not fully fill it like the last ones? Not fully fill it, but, you know, a lot of fill. Right, Jenny? Love some Labradorite. I've, I've done it once that it actually looked like what I wanted it to look like. But my problem with it, my entire problem with it was that the black lines, I couldn't get them thin enough. I couldn't control them in a feasible way aside from like just drawing them on, which if you're going to do a countertop, that's just not feasible really. I could literally just do this all day. I think you could do a whole countertop. I really do. And I'm, I already showed Rhonda this technique over at RK3, and we're going to give it a shot sometime really, really soon. Probably the next time I go down there, we'll give this look a, a real shot on a larger scale. I feel like it needs a few more thicker lines. What do you guys think?
Or I think it may actually, yes, be like Lay's potato chips, and you cannot do just a few. Um, yeah, I think I may try it on spray paint with no, like, flood the pan coat. But I wanted to give this a real shot first, just to see if I could recreate the results. So a lot of times I'm just stretching it over and pulling it up and over on different areas because it's sticking to the substrate. And so I can just stretch it and then stretch it and then stretch it and then stretch it. You guys, it is still going. Super fine line. Okay, it finally broke. Ooh, that's a great idea, Sue. Putting another layer on top with a different color and it look like webs behind webs. But look how thin those lines get. Like, it won't even focus. Have you ever seen um, Dragon's Breath or Dragon's Beard candy made? It looks just like that. Thanks, Gail. Thanks, Lisa. All right, I don't want to do too many of these. I say as I keep going and going and going. It's so bizarre. I could just keep stringing it. Hey, Tim. Okay. Enough of that. I'm gonna ruin my heat gun if I touch it with this. Okay. That was not easy. I'm gonna do just a little bit of heat to try to pop what bubbles I can. No, that's dangerous. I don't recommend trying to pop these bubbles. Because by the time they do pop, you're going to thin your resin out so much that all your lines are going to move. So let's just let them be for now. And then um, we'll just have to flood this. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to take this to the dust-free zone. I'll be right back. Be looking at this. Trying not to tilt it at you. Okay, now I'll coat a couple of the acrylic coasters that we did the other day, which is not quite as exciting. But it's not fully boring either. I mean, a little bit. It's a little bit boring. Alrighty. Sorry about the delay. So these turned out pretty flipping cool. I'm excited to see what they look like with
Ooh, trying it on a tumbler is not a bad idea. Can't wait to see how that works. So I did these the other day with um, the Prism Pour acrylic paint and with some of Marcy's pour paints as well. I will say that the Prism pour paints seemed to work better for me when they were in conjunction with the Prism pour. But Everybody has different things that they like in their resin, you know? That's just me. But I think they turned out pretty cool. There is a little bit of texture in some of them where the paint was just a bit thick. However, that's not fully abnormal with acrylic pours. It's just the nature of pouring a bunch of thick paint and paints drying at a different speed. So if yours end up doing that, don't stress out fully normal. I will say that I didn't expect all these colors to look fun together, but they totally do. Are you coming down for the February class? To Rondos? What's the date? February what? Really like how these chevron scales turned out because of our, I guess, uh, paper smush, puddle smush. I don't know how to, I don't know how to word that, but it looks like chevron, but as scales. And I don't know if you guys know this, but as a mermaid, I'm down for all things Ocean F. So if you're ever flood coating your acrylic pores, you really need to make sure that your acrylic has fully dried. Sometimes, depending on how thick you pour it, it takes weeks to fully dry. And if you use any kind of silicone in your acrylic, you got to do a lot more to it before you can add resin because it'll fish eye and give you a whole bunch of dimples and it just won't be fun. I am not an acrylic pour expert, but I kind of fancy myself as um, knowledgeable on resin. But if you guys ever have a question, I'm happy to answer with all of the information that I do have. It's kind of hard to see all the awesome in these coasters with the Milky Way on them because I have so many lights in my filming space, but just know they look kind of like that, but with all the sparkle. I'm adding just a little bit of heat to make sure I pop any bubbles that may be in the resin from initially mixing. That's fun. So after having these completely dry, I'm going to have to give, okay, let me, let me preface this by saying if I were to just be grading this on acrylic pour ability for the prism pours, they dry nicely, their shimmer is unmatched. And the colors are 
awesome. But the fact that they're translucent or transparent and you have to add so much. You have to add so much pigment to them. That's going to cost you a banana. And the fact that they're all shimmers. There's no flat colors. And I don't like anything that's all shimmer. So you have to have another line. You can't just use exclusively the prism pores. That's going to cost a banana. And the fact that you can't just use them in resin. I think, I feel like, I want to say she sent them to me to put in resin. And I don't think that she had intended that to happen because the statement was made that you can easily pour with the prism pour in resin. And I don't think that you can. So that's going to cost a banana. However, because we made a new technique out of it, I'll give a banana back. So I think in total maybe six and a half bananas for the prison floor. Because I only give you guys my honest opinions and honest reviews. I would never recommend something that I wouldn't personally use. And I tell all the companies that before they send me anything to review. Be cool with the fact that I'm not going to lie for you. I'm going to tell people exactly what I think. Hi, Saskia from Belgium. Swamper, I did already do the resin stretching. Surprisingly, it doesn't take that long to do. Um, but it worked. It worked again. It worked great. And... Now that I've been able to recreate the results, I'm going to take it to Rhonda so that we can do like a countertop, like a massive scale one. Oh, a CD tower so you can let things cure for a couple weeks or a week before sealing with resin. That's smart. I have um, a bun pan rack that I'll use for smaller pieces. Kind of just put them in there, keep them out of the way and dust free because bun pan racks come with that handy dandy. What's it called? That sleeve that goes over it. You know what I mean. Words are hard. Rhonda's 9th through the 12th. We will be back. We'll be back. The ninth through the twelfth, so I could see us coming down there for that. Is it a pro class or beginner class? Pro class. Sweet. I'll go ahead and message her today. Make sure it's cool. I'm sure it's cool, but just to make sure it's cool. It's amazing how more brilliant colors look when you put resin on them. Maybe the last one that I have resin for. And another thing, the cells didn't really stay. But to be fair, I did mix some water in them to make them fluid enough to pour with. So that may have messed with some of the science. Hey, Carrie and Oz. Happy New Year to you, too. 
Love it when all of my Australia friends hop in. Hopefully the world will open back up and we can come back for another tour in Australia. We're supposed to have been back twice already, but pandemic. Waste not, want not, y'all. Okay. As soon as I get this down, I will give you guys a flyover of all the coasters that we flooded. Because they look super cool. Sometimes when there's so much sparkle, I can't tell. If I've gotten everything or if there's a dry spot, I can't be, I can't be the only one. Um, for those that missed the beginning of this, I was stretching resin, which is using this concoction to kind of create a slime or a marshmallow fluff with the resin so that you can stretch it over your piece and create a cool little web that will stay. Since, since I have this, I'm going to go grab, I'm going to go grab, um, I'm just going to try it on something without any resin on it. So I'm going to grab, nope. I'm just going to grab a coaster, spray paint it real quick. And say what, B? What about it? What about it? Well, I want to make sure I could recreate it. And I did. really hate that I had to take off so many pairs of gloves. It feels super wasteful, but it's really impossible to not get everything everywhere when doing resin stretching or webbing. Keep going over to make a bowl. Let me do this first and then we'll see about doing that because that sounds really cool too. Yeah, Milky Way's by... Uh, Resin art. Okay. Work up a good little grip. I'm telling you, that could be finished all on its own. What do you guys think? It's so retro. Hi, Dolores Vandenberg of the Hampton Vandenbergs. How are you doing? I hope you had an awesome new year. Also, also, I love that, like, translucent look. Love that.
I'm gonna try to get another like Thank you, Vamp. Remind you of graffiti without it being graffiti. V, come look at my this. Sorry if I yelled in y'all's ear. Thanks, Wild Art. I think it's super cool. Um, Angela, it is uh, from a paint. B. It would be awesome to see you too, Sylvia. I'm sure we'll be there. Isn't it fun? So pumped about this. I'm going to set this aside so that it can cure. You want to try it? Cool. You're just going to do that? <laughs> well, Sue was like, you should just keep it going and make a bowl. I don't know if it'll... Oh, yeah, come on. I mean, it's plastic. I don't know. Whoa. Oh, Maybe with different colors. Maybe I'll just keep this here and just do a whole bunch of different colors and build it up. What do you think? I feel like I'm doing like a candy floss. Nope, oh, it got me. All right, so we'll just do a whole, we got a bubble. Oops. We'll do a whole bunch of colors on this. But we'll base it in black so that the colors really pop. And layering colors in a bowl like this be really cool because the inside colors will be like colors peekabooing through the black and the outside will have the black peekabooing through the color okay now I'm gonna move this before I get it everywhere I'm done with these. And I'll show you how those coasters look. The white version sounds really cool of this. So here's how these coasters look in a different light. Because with all the lights directly overhead, you can't you can't even really see. See all those lights? It's kind of taking away from the awesome of the colors, but you can see all the colors from a side angle. Anyways. 
thank you guys for coming in and seeing what we're up to today. Bowie, thank you, each and every one. And said, I hope you had a happy new year. Didn't you, big boy? Yeah. Yeah. You know what? So, you guys, I hope you have an awesome Monday. Hope you're still sticking strong to your New Year's resolutions. But if you don't, it's okay. Don't feel bad. Come back and see what we're up to tomorrow. We'll be live at 2 p.m. Central, where we'll do some other fun art stuff. You guys are amazing. Thank you for coming in and seeing what we're up to. Please subscribe. Share a video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what color you think we should do next time we stretch resin and do some resin webbing. And we'll see you guys mañana. You guys are amazing. We love you. And be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through. I don't know if you guys heard him, but he said, we do the test. So you don't have to, Bowie. Who is that? Was that your dad? I know. You should go tell him. It's dark over there. Go see. Who is that? I know it. Y'all are amazing. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. He said bye.